Hello everyone, welcome to Keen Ear, and for this video time truly is of the essence as I go through 11 personally selected tracks, each of which I consider to be pretty great, each of which more or less anyway are in the classic rock genre, and each of which are pretty short. They're all under the three minute mark, and uh, I like to think of these tracks as sort of as great as they are sort of fleeting really. And uh, this is really the perfect playlist for, you know, if you happen to be in a bit of a hurry, you haven't got much time on your hands, but you still want to listen to some great music, kind of got you covered really. So uh, what I wanted to include in this in this video, in this playlist, is something by the Beatles, but it just wasn't to be, unfortunately. I was doing some research on it, and there's just tons and tons and tons of of, uh, of, of Beatles tracks that are under the three minute mark. I was surprised how many there actually are, particularly from the early period. So because I was so overwhelmed by it, I just sort of decided not to include anything. So maybe in a future video, I will uh, I'll just focus purely on the Beatles and just, just have like 10 of the best, uh, you know, 10 of my favorites, should I say, uh, you know, Beatles, short tracks, you know, because that's what I was really looking for with these. It wasn't just the fact that they were under three minutes. I really was looking for the shortest tracks that I could literally find or I, I happen to really like as well, which is isn't too easy really. There wasn't a huge amount out there. But uh this is this is just eleven that I've happened to to to, to, to pick for this video. And uh so I've got nothing by the by the Beatles, but I do have something by the the Stones. In fact I do have two all the Stones tracks, the first of which appears on this album. It's Let It Bleed, and the track in question is called You Got the Silver. Two minutes and 51 seconds of pure Rolling Stones gold. It's, uh, for my money, the best Keith Richards vocal track, and I was lucky enough to hear the Stones perform this live when I saw them, and I was hoping that they'd play it. Um, luckily they did, and it really was a highlight of, of the entire evening, really. And it's not a track that pops up all that often, you know, it's not like a deep cut, but it's not necessarily one of their more common, you know, overplayed tracks, for which there's actually quite a lot. Uh, and it's 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 kind of got like this mid bit middle ground to it, but I, I think it's great. It's whenever I do hear it, it's always a treat. And that's the thing with these tracks, not just you got the silver, but all of them really that I'm gonna be going through in this video, they're all sort of like gems in the sense that, you know, I'll happily listen to a 40 minute long LP just to hear you know a two and a half minute track for instance so yeah anyway that's the first one I've gone for the follow up and these are these are in no order or anything like that I know I'm not ranking these songs these are just sort of completely randomized so next track is by David Bowie and it's found on this album The Lodger and it's a track that opens the album it's called Fantastic Voyage. Uh, 2 minutes and 57 seconds, one of Bowie's uh, greatest sort of vocal performances and uh, a really unusual track as well, you know, uh, lyrically, you know, it's it's very strange, you know, if you, hear the, you, know, if you pay attention to the lyrics, it's, it's a very unusual track, you know, there's not many other songs in sort of popular music that are kind of strange as fantastic voyage but yeah it's still a great track um, I think that's one of the things I like about it. it's such a great performance and it's got this weird sort of edge to it as well so it's a bit of a double whammy so not track number three I haven't strayed too far really from from Lodger with this one uh, because it's something from Brian Eno and Eno of course you know, worked on the Lodger album and uh, this is another Green World and the track I've gone for is another Green World which is an instrumental one minute and 38 seconds in length so really really short and uh, it, it, what makes this track even shorter really is the fact that it has this very slow fade in it sort of fades in and then it, it, it sort of goes you know it's sort of a very very fleeting track I almost think of it like a uh, sort of like a, a, a gap between the clouds, you know, on a patchy day, you know, the sun just sort of beams through for, for you know, it sort of, it sort of uh, fades in and then it, it sort of soon, soon fades out again, you know, it's sort of very fleeting bit of light, really, and it's such a beautiful track as well. And, uh, you know, it, it's one thing that I kind of could listen to for a very long time, you know, if there was like an extended version of it, but no, it's on the, on the album, it's, 
it's pretty damn short, 1 minute and 38 seconds in length. So we'll move on to track number 4, something kind of different, you know, vocal track this time, but still pretty beautiful. And it's uh, Life's a Gas from the Electric Warrior album. Uh, 2 minutes and 25 seconds long. And yeah, just for my money, the best Mark Bolan. Uh, so it's a ballad track, really. And yeah, just, just truly fantastic. A fantastic uh, highlight of this particular album. And, uh, you know, one of the more famous moments of Bolan, really, when he performed it with uh, Silla Black, which I consider to be actually probably the best thing that Silla Black ever did, really. So we'll move on from Bolan and Silla Black and on to uh, track number five, which is Jimi Hendrix. And it's this album, Axis Boulder's Love. And the, the track in question I'm going for is uh, called Little Wing. This is a second longer, a whole second longer than uh, uh, Life's a Gas. Two minutes and 26 seconds. Again, beautiful track. Probably, uh, again, maybe uh, Jimi Hendrix's best. It's a ballad -y track, I suppose. And yeah, it's just it's a great track in, in, in the studio. And he's probably, I've heard a few uh, uh, versions of it live as well, and they're Pretty fantastic as well, and it's it's a one. It's out of all these tracks, I think it's it's one that you know it's, it's kind of the bitter edge of these these tracks. You know, being so short, so I kind of wish, in certain extent, because they'd be a bit longer almost. You know, they, they just added a few more verses to it. And I think Little Wing is the one track out of all of these I wish was. You know, if Hendrix just penned another verse to it, you know, and he just came up with something else and just extended it by you know just another minute or whatever, but. It wasn't to be. Maybe milk them a bit more. I think that's another thing they could have done. You know, I think if certain people would have, you know, certain artists would have come up with some of these things, they maybe would have thought, you know, I'm going to extend this out. I'm going to, I'm going to completely blow it up and make it a, bit, a bigger track and maybe ruin it in the process. I think maybe that's one thing that does happen. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not really a musician. I can't really say. But, you know, maybe that's something that does happen with some people out there. You know, they come up with a good track and they just end up ruining it by extending it and thinking it's kind of maybe better than it actually is rather than these tracks which are kind of pure to a certain extent you know it's like one, one over over processed and over uh, elaborated so track number six i wanted to include something by roxy music and uh, the thing is with roxy music it's slim pickings because there's, there's, most of the tracks are pretty long you know they're four minutes plus and over over three and a half minutes and all that kind of thing. I was not really finding very much, you know, very few and far between. I was just going through album after album, everything on it was over you know, over the limit. And then I started to go through some singles and I found this one. This is uh, Virginia Plain. And Virginia Plain is two minutes and 53 seconds. I've just about made it. Uh, sorry, not 53, two minutes and 58. It's the longest track actually. On this, you know, in this entire video, and it's uh, it, it's a great track. You know, everybody loves uh, Virginia Plain. It's just a fantastic piece of music. So yeah, I had to include it really. And uh, I didn't really have much choice to be honest with you because I wasn't too sure if there actually was that much else, if anything, that is uh, around that sort of length. But just about made it by a couple of seconds, two minutes and fifty eight seconds in total. So. Track number seven, I've gone for something by The Kinks, and it's found on this album, The Kink Controversy, and the album is called, uh, the track is called, should I say, Overall the Good Times Gone, two minutes and 53 seconds. Now, I, I did actually have some other Kinks tracks in mind I wanted to use, but they were annoyingly over the three minute mark. You know, they'd be like three minutes and five seconds or something like that, you know, it's kind of very irritating, but uh, this isn't this is this this is the one I kind of went to in a bit of compromise, but it's still a great track. So yeah, I wanted something to represent the Kinks and where have all the good times gone. It sure isn't a particularly bad representation of the Kinks and it fits it fits the bill really. So next I've gone for something by the Stones again. And it's track number eight. And it's found on this album, Exile on Main Street. It's called Rip This Joint. It's it's uh, two minutes and 23 seconds long. And this 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 album has a great opener. It also has a great middle. I also find it has a great end as well. So it's just generally such a great album. 
And yeah, it's, it, it, I think the, the the opening to this album though is is truly great. I think the opening is is the is the highlight of the entire album. The way it opens, it sort of you know it sort of forces all all the doors of your house wide open and, and sort of it's it's sort of a real uh, it's a real real trip to begin with. You know, real uh, you know take no prisoners open to this album, and it's uh, you know rip this joint is is at least part of that. So yeah. Uh, that's another track I've gone for. So next I've gone for something by Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, of course, known for their very long tracks. You know, the Stairway to Heaven, for instance, is a very particularly long track. And uh, I was looking through everything that they recorded, and it was kind of, it was like Roxy Music all over again. You know, I couldn't find anything really. Everything was you know, four minutes, and five minutes, and that kind of thing. And I thought of a track that I really wanted to include, and it was like four and a half minutes in length, and I thought I wasn't getting anywhere. And then, then the immigrant song popped up from this album, Led Zeppelin Three. Surprisingly short track. I didn't think it was, I knew it was a short one, but I didn't know it was two minutes and twenty six seconds long, exactly as long as uh, as, as Little Wing by uh, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, super super quick track, super great track though, you know, opens up this album, fantastic opening track, you know, and it, it draws you in and it's it's I think that's probably the main purpose of it really, to you know, to to get you in on its side really and it does accomplish that. It's a great one of the best opening tracks really of any album, I suppose, the immigrant song. Can't really go wrong with that. So Next is something by Queen, and again, Queen, similar to Led Zeppelin, you know, they were uh, known for a very long track, you know, think of Bohemian Rhapsody, probably their most famous track, you know, it goes on for ages. Uh, but the track I've gone for in this is called The Hero. Now, before anybody writes in the comments and says, The Hero is actually longer than three minutes, you know what you're talking about, I hate you, and all these kind of things. Uh, you got to hear me out. This is... This is a, a bit of a cheat, I suppose. Yeah, the, yeah, the hero technically is longer than three minutes. But if you actually listen to the track, it's got like, you know, it starts off and it's got uh, Brian May, he's got this really great heavy guitar riff to it for about a minute. And then uh, Freddie Mercury starts, is, you know, starts going through the lyrics and you know, his vocal delivery and everything. And then after about one minute 40, you know, by my watch anyway, it, it, it pretty much changes into it entirely, you know, it kind of ends, you know, it, the track ends and then it turns into something else, you know, it turns into like a, uh, it's almost like a medley of, you know, this particular album, you know, the Flash Gordon album, you know, it goes through all the, you know, the, the, the more famous parts of the album, you know, it kind of wraps it up, it's, it's the last track, actually, I believe it is the last track on this album, yeah, it is, and, uh, it's it sort of wraps everything up and it sort of concludes everything to a certain extent and it's very effects driven and you know and all that. But the actual track itself that I'm actually going on about is only is only about a minute one you know one minute forty seconds long and it's great. It's one of the few uh, you know really great deep cut tracks that I think they kind of just you know I think Queen just uh, wrote very quickly and maybe. Didn't really know what to do with it, so they just stuck her on here, maybe. And I have heard them before. You know, if you look on online, you can hear uh, uh, live. They did it live a few times, and it, it tends to be about one minute fifty. You know, one minute forty, one minute fifty in length. Uh, and you know, that's kind of it. They just do. You know, just just listen to the track, really. You kind of get what I mean. It's it's a it's a great track, and it's really short, and it's just I really do think it's a bit of a highlight of this album. It kind of put, comes out of nowhere, and you think, wow, that's that's fantastic, and then it goes away, and you never hear it again. And it's it's a real hidden gem. And the whole point of this video really wasn't to find hidden gems or anything like that. Just short tracks, but it's a short track that I thought was pretty great, and uh, it's pretty short as well. Well, it's, it's just. Just a little uh, gem hidden away on this album, and it's pretty obscure, um, pretty damn good, and pretty damn short as well. So, the final track I'm, I'm going to include before I wrap this video up is found on this album, it's Chuck Berry's Rockin' at the Hops, and the track is called Two Poops a Pop. And it's uh, it's two minutes and thirty five seconds long. There's tons and tons of Chuck Berry tracks from this sort of the you know early era, uh, you know fifties and into the you know into the sixties. 
and I'm pretty damn sure they could have included a lot. But I included this one because I thought it was just a fun track to include. I think it's, it always brings a smile to my face that, you know, too good to pop, you know, just, just kind of listen to it. It's got a great uh, sax solo halfway through it as well, which is pretty epic, really. It's probably, you know, 95% of the reason why I actually included it. So, yeah, what I'm going to do with all these tracks I've gone through is put a link to them to uh, Spotify if you want to hear them. I've made it. I've made the list. So yeah, I'll put, you can, can check them out and see what you think of it. And uh, yeah, any sort of comments, any kind of input about uh, you know uh, tracks that you think I've missed out or overlooked or could have included. Obviously, there's there's a million of them I could have included. I can't include them all, and certainly not in a short video anyway. But uh, yeah, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll make a follow up and include more. Maybe I have a video where you know other people can suggest sort of a, you know, maybe a, a playlist of, or maybe we could add to the one of, you know, keep adding to it, you know, maybe make a series of this, I don't know, who knows, I sure as hell don't, so yeah, got Beatles one maybe coming up, maybe some uh, viewers, admissions, uh, who knows, who knows exactly, so thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.